It certainly is a big job and this is going to take a while. So we are here near 9th Avenue and they are going block by block. You can see all of them here kind of carting stuff away, putting things in trash cans. We are told that there is also storage for some of these belongings too. It's not just City of Phoenix staff out here. We know that different uh, homeless nonprofits are also here. They tell me I asked how many people are out helping. They said they have dozens of people out connecting with these folks who have been living in the zone and the goal is to talk to people here about going to shelter, about finding shelter, giving them resources so they can get some help. The city of Phoenix tells me that the number of people living in the zone has gone down and we've got our AZ family drone up overhead right now to kind of give you an idea of what we are seeing here from kind of a wide angle of this view. There are still about 750 people or so a night who stay out here and we just had a chance to talk to Scott Hall. He is the city's deputy director of homeless solutions. He says that right now there is not enough shelter beds to move everyone and that is why they are doing what they're doing. They're doing it block by block kind of every few weeks from now on. For today's block he says there are enough shelter beds and we just got an update. 25 people living in this block have agreed to move into one of these shelters. At this point 10 people haven't but Scott says they are still working with him. We talked to him about this approach and why he thinks this is the best way to clear out this area. We want to take them up in, 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 in sections where we can offer people those, those resources, right? So taking it in sections as one block at a time is probably the most ideal and what we can try to keep pace with because we really want to be able to offer people good indoor space and have that time for that engagement opportunity and help people get in. So again, as of now, for the people living in this particular block, he says there are enough shelter beds available, but we're not sure what's going to happen in the future. The city, though, looking at some creative ways to house people. Late last year, the city opened a shelter at a hotel with nearly 100 plus rooms. They're working with another hotel, they tell me right now, to do the same thing, ideally, in the next couple of months. Coming back out here live, they're going to be out here throughout the day today. And again, this is just one block. So uh, once today is done, people will not be able Able to camp on this particular stretch of 9th Avenue and what's going to happen is they plan in a few weeks from now then they're going to focus on another block and then a few weeks after that focus on another block again as they work because they have a court order to clear out this area. Scott and Olivia the question that remains though is will there be enough shelter beds? We know about 800 beds are going to be available by the end of next year but what about in the summer? We couldn't really get specifics from the city today about how many beds will be open but again the people today we are told we'll have a bed if they want it. All and right, Kylie, thank you for that.